do have potomosle here and what we use this for is we use this to feed to the borregos or the horses um, and so we are trying to put it in costales so that way it's not flying all over the place and so this will last us a little while um, especially now um, that it's dry season here in Oaxaca uh, it's really important for us to make sure that we're using everything we can so we have plenty of food for the animals to eat. to have long sleeve shirts because once this hits your arms it makes your arms super itchy. Catch as much as we can um, in a cloth top. And here where we live in Oaxaca, everything's still pretty much done by hand. Um, so when the corn's dry, people go through and they start picking the corn. Um, and then they take off all the, the tocomogla. And this is what, what they said they used to feed our animals. And so sometimes we have corn and we do this as well. Um, but this one we actually bought from somebody. So that way, like I said, in the dry season, we do everything that we can uh, to make sure that our animals have lots of food. And so we also put this in costales because it's easier to kind of carry, uh, carry it to where the animals are so we can feed it to the animals. And also, like I said before, so it's not blowing everywhere. And so here is some of the food that we have now for the animals. So if you can see by this hill in front of us right now, everything's super dry. And so a lot of times uh, in the rainy season, everybody will uh, watch their animals graze. Um, however, in this time, it's really hard to find food for the animals. And so that's why, um, like I said, it's really important for us to use everything that we can. Um, and that we have the pacas and the totomosle for the animals to eat. And right now we don't have as many animals as we did in the ha uh, past. We have just a couple sheep um, and the horses. And the reason is, is because since Sergio was in doing his servicio for the municipio, um, it wasn't fair that we couldn't um, pay as much attention to the animals. And so we decided to go ahead and sell some of them. Um, but now that he's done with his servicio, we are uh, slowly uh, building back up. And so this is where we have the horses for now, um, since it's really, really hot during the day, so they have some shade as well. And here are our sheep and the goats. Now the goats are Jays, and the horses that I just showed you guys as well are Kikis. And then the sheep are all of ours. But we all work together to make sure everything is taken care of and everything gets done.